Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here with my reborn toddler Nora again. I wasn't planning on doing a video with her so soon again since my past two videos have been about her. However, as you can tell from the title, Nora needs surgery. We're doing some reborn surgery on Nora today because over this past weekend she was hanging out with me the whole weekend and she met a lot of my um, family and close family friends and something happened and now she needs a little bit of surgery. So as you guys know, she has a little bit of a chest right here. It just goes down to right there. That's the end of it. And they're held in by these little ties. And this one came undone. So her head almost flipped over and fell off because um, this tie, this ribbon is tied on to a little thread and the thread came loose and undone. And so she needs a whole new thread so we can tie this back on and secure her. I might even have to put a new ribbon in so it'll be longer because I'm assuming when the artist did it, um, it was longer and then she cut it after so they'd be shorter. And so something happened where it came undone and now she needs surgery because it's undone. So my mom said she knew how to do it. I would also like to give it a try because why not? Um, I think I'd be able to do it as well. The way my mom described it, it seemed pretty easy. And I understand, by looking at the other three, I'm pretty sure I understand how the whole thing works. So, I'm going to try it. She looks adorable. I'm sad that we have to give her some surgery because she's pretty new and now she has to have some surgery. So we're gonna prepare her for surgery. I'm gonna take all her clothes off so it'll be easier for me. And we're going to lay her down, get her prepped for <laughs> the surgery. As you could see when I was changing her, this is the part that's coming undone, and so luckily I think it's only that one that's coming undone, but you can see inside to where her head is connected to a little pole and all kinds of stuff, so now we're going to redo her and give her um, her little surgery to get her a string to put back on her neck. So the materials that I'm using are um, a needle. I'm not sure which size I'm going to use, but I have a whole bunch right here. And some embroidery floss, which is basically like friendship making string. This one is an off-white. We are out of white, so this is the closest thing that I have, and I want it to kind of match her body because all her other strings are white. This is thicker than the one she had previously, but I'm still gonna use it anyway, or at least try to. And then I have embroidery floss cutting scissors because this just cuts the string easiest, so we're using those. <laughs> so you can see the untied ribbon right there, and I'm just gonna take out this uh, ribbon, or this one's actually thread, but we're gonna use embroidery floss. So we're just gonna take it out. I think it was sewed from the inside, probably before her head was attached, so we'll just do that. And we can still see those holes, so I'm gonna try and go back in with them. So now I need to thread my um, embroidery floss on a needle, which can be pretty hard because embroidery floss is kind of thick. All right, put the needle on the threader. Is that on? Yes. And then I put the, oh no. Floss through. And then, oops, I'm gonna pull it a lot. Pull the needle down. Sometimes it's hard because, like I said, embroidery floss is thick, especially doubled over. But I usually can get it. Oh, come on. Oh, I'm bending the needle there. It really doesn't want to go. It's kind of slightly bent. Yikes. <laughs> ah, I just pricked myself. Oh, I broke the needle threader. Okay, um, I might just resort to thread instead of embroidery floss. Okay, I've got some also off-white <laughs> thread 
and this matches her body a lot better and it's thinner which is also what was used on her originally so I'm gonna thread this into our needle which is a lot easier because it's littler I can usually get this without needing the threader yep got it <laughs> I've always been kind of good at that I don't know why So now it's all the way through. It's in the needle, you guys can't see it. It's so tiny. Okay, now we're gonna actually start the surgery on her. So like I said, when this was originally done, she had the artist threaded the needles before putting the head on so it had all the loops first. But since her head's already on and it's only one little thing, we're just gonna have to make do with it. So I'm just gonna kind of go in. I'm gonna set the angle up better. I'm trying to make it so you guys can still see. All right, so we want her like right here. So I'm gonna kind of start out the same way. And I went through the initial holes that used to be there. So I'm hoping this will work. Okay, I'm gonna go like this and then I'm gonna tie it and then I will tie off the thread. The ribbon's too little. I think I need a longer ribbon, like I mentioned. I don't think I have ribbon this little. And thread will definitely not be strong enough because it's so thin. Yeah, oh, this is proving to be difficult. Actually, I might be able to do embroidery floss. I'm not sure how strong it'll be and I might have to do this again, but I think I'm gonna replace it with embroidery floss. Got the embroidery floss back and now we're going to uh, make this bigger again. I'm going to take this out. So it's just done like that, super simple. I'm gonna attempt to do the same thing with the embroidery floss. It's in. So, I'm hoping this will be strong on a friendship bracelet. Isn't the strongest material, but it's better than thread. <laughs> so, I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. They looped it through and they just went like this. Just like that. I really just hope this works. So now we've got this giant thing and then all right, I need to tie it through this huge loop right here. I really hope this works. If not, my mom might have to do it. <laughs> I really don't think this thread is gonna hold up well. This thread's pretty weak, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, we're gonna cut it and see if it actually worked or not. Okay, I'm not even gonna touch her and I'm gonna zoom out so we can look at it and see if it worked together. All right, moment of truth. So far, it seems like it's okay. So, as long as it works, I think she's good to go with this little makeshift thing that I did here. And if it ends up failing, she'll be getting surgery part two and my mom will do it. I probably won't video it, but yeah, so scary, she went through her first surgery and she turned out good. I'm so happy because I was so sad when her head broke because I was scared that I would have to send her back to be fixed because I wasn't really sure how to do it, but I'm glad that we figured something out and I really hope that it works because I don't want a broken baby. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching Nora's surgery. Please click like and subscribe and in the comments, let us know if you ever had surgery and we'll see you guys all later. Bye.